Hey everyone, have I here Bruno Video and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing our breakdown of the Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Full Power Broly and the Carnival LR Gogeta for the nine year anniversary. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And yes, the hype is real. These units are amazing. If you watch the live stream, the animations are incredible. It's <laughs> we're gonna dive all into it and and break it all down. So the banners will drop on the 29th JP time. So technically, it'll be 28th uh, where I'm at, and uh, it's a little sooner than I expected. I was thinking more like the 30th or 31st, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be dropping on the 29th uh, in again JP time. So check your uh, your time zones on where and when these banners will drop for you. But if you look at these banners here, uh, pretty good, right? Pretty good overall. You have Merzumasu on the Broly banner. We have a new banner Frieza on there. We have some you know some older units as well. But on the Carnival banner, um, you know we ended up having a couple other carnival units right you have metal cooler you have trunks you have gohan so i think all in all these these banners are absolutely fine they're going to be great for the anniversary and it's nice to see a little bit of change up of the dokkan fest and carnival together versus the dual dokkan fest so hey i'm okay with that let's go ahead and look at the units because that's what you're really here for let's start with broly first and uh I was absolutely wrong on the type advantages. So I thought this was in. I thought Gogeta would be tech, but it is uh, AGL and physical. Um, but yeah, <laughs> besides that, I think uh, my train of thought, I think, would be uh, prompt, uh, comparable to what we're going to be seeing here, which is, you know, again, a broken unit for the anniversary. Uh, so shout outs to the homie Garash for the translations, of course. His link will be in the description below. Uh, let's make this a little bigger here. So let's start with the leader skill. Super bosses was, we, we know that that was going to happen because that is the new category for the Dokkan Festival exclusive. Um, be interesting to see what the, what the um, leader skill is. Is it going to be super bosses again, extreme class uh, for the carnival unit before and then the Dokkan Fest, whatever that's going to be, Beast Gohan, whatever, what that leader skill is going to look like. But in this case, we have three. It's a triple double, which... This is what I was hoping for at minimum was a triple double here. We don't see that extra 150 like we have for the Murzumasu. I was hoping for that, but uh, we have Super Bosses, Transformation Boost, which is nice. I did not want them to put full power. I was hoping they put something else like Gifted Warriors on here, but this is fine. It's a very, very strong leader skill. It has a lot of the units that you do want to run at 170, and then uh, plus an additional HP and attack defense, 30% for the 200% boost for Exploding Rage and Movie Bosses. So this was kind of a given. I was, you know, I kind of changed back and forth from you know exploding rage up here to down here, but uh, I got these two correct on the leader skill. Now let's look at super attacks. Uh, Twelve key raises attack and defense for one turn, and uh, causes colossal damage to the enemy. And then you have the eighteen key greatly raises attack and greatly raises defense for four turns, uh, and causes cl mega colossal damage to the enemy. So some some stacking ability there, which is going to be nice. But who really cares because the passive is kind of out of control so you do have an interest animation gain key plus five attack and defense 100 percent and perform an additional super attack for four turns from the first appearance so automatically a guaranteed super attack is so so powerful but remember it's only going to be for the first four turns now you do have an additional attack defense 150 percent at the start of the turn guard activated against all attacks it's just guard just just guard guard against all attacks uh gain key plus one and additional uh when collecting key spheres so this is you know way back when in dokkan festival exclusive type units for the anniversary you can get a little bonus for picking up um key spheres there so that's huge it's hugely beneficial gain an additional attack 50 percent when performing a super attack and gain an additional defense 50 percent when performing ultra super attack and that's going to be no problem there so Gain an additional key plus two and perform an additional super attack as the first attacker of the turn, which you sh or second, which you should be fine with the guard and then these boosts that we're going to be seeing here and a little bit of a mini stack on defense as well. Um, so, but if you are having some issues, you're going to just maybe move them to the second attacker just in case. Uh, but I think you're just going to be just fine. And then gain an additional key plus six and perform an additional super attack and have a high chance of performing another super attack as the third attacker of the turn. So, again. 
you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use him as a floater, but using him as a floater is kind of outrageous, right? Because you are going to get um, the additional super attack on top of an additional super attack and then this uh, high chance of performing another one. So if you get caught up in running this as a floater, you might do four super attacks. So uh, if you want to do that to stack up the defense for the, the time being, then put them into the first or second position, that should be fine because here's the interesting thing about this is if you are going to float them for one turn and kind of try to boost up the defense here uh, as you still have the guard, the transformation condition is five turns have elapsed. So having it in a floater position and coming back and then that transformation, it might be there four turns as well as we're, I think, all hoping for. But uh, this is going to be five turns here. So this this interesting floater opportunity uh, can be very powerful. Now, the transformation uh, also has a ability to transform into full power here and then create a um, a domain effect so this is different different dimension space for four turns uh, extreme class allies key plus four so uh, this domain effect however when that is up uh, extreme class allies and enemies uh, attack and defense plus 10 percent if those allies or enemies are also exploding rage or movie bosses category which a few are they're going to gain an additional key plus 10 the team that you're going to be building here and then super class allies it's going to take an additional 10 percent of damage which can be really really big there so um so that is the super saiyan portion the pre-transformation before we go into full power but uh very strong right the guard is there it's all what we're looking for uh, a, a mini stackable ability you have this third position interesting that's there you have the additional defense at the ultra super attack so very very powerful and uh, an amazing leader skill so definitely worthy for a nine-year anniversary unit let's go ahead and move into the uh, full power so when you go full power card art is amazing here um the 12 keys raises attack and defense for one turn uh, you know, I just realized, I kind of go back over here. This is raises attack and then comma here. So this is this raises attack, stacking, and then defense for one turn. I guess that's what it is. So you're stacking attack before transformation. So that's going to be strong. Boy, you're going to do a lot of damage uh, in longer fights here. So uh, so if you and if and when you transform, you greatly raise attack and defense for one turn on the 12 key, and then greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and cause a mega class damage to an enemy. So the passive here is it changes. You have key plus six attack and defense 300%. You uh, keep guard, which is great. You know, I hate when transformations or things of that nature is, you know messes the most most powerful portion of the uh, of the unit. In this case, uh, you're still guarding. Very, very powerful. And then key plus one an additional uh, when collecting key spheres. We keep that. And then, <laughs> yeah, you're not going to die. It reduces damage received by 26% until um, attacking while uh, the different dimension space is active. So not only that, we have the guard up, you have the damage reduction when your domain is up. And uh, yeah, that's and then you can get buffed there as well. That's crazy strong. Gain additional 50% when attacking. Gain additional 50% when receiving an attack. Okay. Um, perform an additional super attack. Just flat out. <laughs> and then gain 26% 26 chance of a critical hit when performing super attack. And perform an additional super attack. Gain an additional chance of performing a critical hit chance 26% uh, when performing ultra super attack. And then perform a super attack when key is 24. Which should be pretty pretty common so you're just gonna be doing just a crazy amount of super attacks um yeah i th again i think this this is gonna be worthy here now goresh didn't put in like the the links or the um or the categories it is going to be on movie bosses pure saiyans full power transformation boost super, super saiyans exploding rage miraculous awakening gifted warriors power beyond super saiyan and super bosses so those are going to be the categories that it's going to be on um the links is basically the same as the physical dokkan festival exclusive so check that out and then of course add you know legendary legendary power on there so that's what we're going to have no big bad bosses for broly but it seems like you know we're okay without but the problem is of course when you're running other units you want those units to get linked up as well so who knows you might run them in floater position that that would be a surprise uh, if that is the best spot for him so anyway so that is the unit if you want to let's go ahead and check out the uh 
the uh, super attack here. So incredible in this part here, of course. Classic from the movie. It looks just out of this. Well, it just it looks like the movie, right? It looks like the movie, so. I just realized I have the background music on this thing. Alright, so there's more, of course, the transformation here this is after five turns. Look at this. It is absolutely amazing. Going into the different dimension here, having the domain. The domain looks awesome. Right, the different dimension. This right here is the iconic moment in Broly for Broly. I guess. Looks incredible. A little disappointed, no uh, KO screen, but of course we're gonna get that for Gogeta. It's a little spoiler there if you uh, haven't seen it yet, but I think most of you guys have seen it already. Let's go ahead and dive into Gogeta here. Um, this is the Carnival Gogeta. Uh, again, shout out to the homie Goresh. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here. Man, I gotta get the uh, get this cursor over here as well. Oops, come on. What's going on here? Wait a minute. That's not what I want. What happened here? Huh. That's weird. Okay, anyway, I'll just make this bigger. There we go. There we go. All right. So, Goresh did put the links and the categories on this one here. Oh, you know, I just realized. I'm kind of reading it that's on here. I just realized that um, he put the... I'm thinking he put the um, yeah the links and the categories on the wrong one. So this isn't the Gogeta. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is the, these right here are the links for what you're seeing right here. These are the links for Broly and um, for Broly and the categories. So just heads up there so just forget about this uh, we're just gonna go ahead and look at this portion here first all right so sorry for the confusion there and then the, his links uh, we'll look at those down there okay so we'll just do this all right so movie heroes is the 200 percent category on here a little disappointing for me because we have so many movie hero leaders for um you know for dokkan so this makes it extremely extremely powerful um the return of movie heroes in the top 10 for sure uh no doubt about it there 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn no stacking there 18 key raises defense stacking and again greatly up oh, nope so this is comma and then greatly raises attack for one turn so I, i'm guessing this doesn't stack so this might stack and then just for one turn. 
uh, anyway, if it does stack, huge, right? So, passive skill, keep us to attacking defense 154%, so that is the Gogeta number there, 154, and then at the start of the turn, no entrance animation, um, interestingly enough. Uh, effect is against all types, so instead of the guarding, this is attack effects is all type. This is normally what you see with a Gogeta unit anyway. Uh, gain an additional attack defense 100% when performing a super attack guard. Activate it against all types for three turns from the first appearance. So it doesn't have an entrance animation, but you do have this um, starting off point. So it, so it looks like it, you, yeah, you do stack defense and then you're guarding for the three turns so you can start stacking up. Uh, gain key plus one additional while well, collecting key spheres, very powerful, just like Broly. Gain key plus two at, uh, in addition to collecting rainbow key spheres. Oh, okay, so you're gonna hit 18 key, like no uh, no problem. And then change a random type of key sphere, so your orb changer to uh, rainbow key spheres. Perform an additional attack that has a great chance, great chance, of becoming super attack and perform an additional super attack when collecting one or more key spheres. Wait a minute, let me read this again. Perform an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack and perform an additional super attack when collecting one or more key spheres. Okay, so this should be a, maybe a comma there. So you have a chance of performing an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack and then you also get a guaranteed super attack when collecting one or more key spheres or you get both for collecting one or more key spheres. So you have to collect a key sphere like, like regardless there so um it's not overly impressive right you do have a stacking ability and you have a bunch of key boost on here but looking at all this uh, you, you have guard for the third for those uh, three turns luckily you will transform in the fourth turn here so this is the reason why they built it this way um so in a sense keep that in mind you do need to get that extra uh, rainbow key sphere and you should be just fine here so you're able to transform into super saiyan uh god super saiyan uh, blue gogeta so let's go ahead and take a look at blue gogeta here uh, all right so now you and it, by the way it is a physical unit now we have the links here so we actually go through the links really quickly um i don't think anything changes right golden warrior so, all right, so I'm sure Golden Warrior changes to like Warrior Gods or something, uh, but this just doesn't have their Super Saiyan over in Flash. Prepare for Battle Fuse Fighter. Yeah, so I think these, except for Golden Warrior, is going. I think Golden Warrior will change to like Warrior Gods or something. Um, and then these are the categories here: Movie Heroes, Fusion, Super Saiyans, Final Trump Card, Power Comeback, Time Limit, Fuse Fighters. Okay, so let's look at once he transforms. See how godly he actually is. Oops, let's make this bigger. There we go. That should be good enough. All right, so 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal, massively raises attack for four turns, and causes mega colossal. So that's going to be doing a lot of damage there. Uh, recover 54% HP at the start of the character's turn for four turns. Oh my goodness, okay. So right here is crazy powerful. So when he's attacking, so you're able to basically just, you know, recover 54%, you know, in two, in two type of rotations, right? So uh, very, very powerful there. Key plus three and attack and defense 200%, start of return. Effectors against all types, gain an additional 100% when performing a super attack. Key plus two when getting... Um, collecting key spheres, so it's powerful there. Orb changing again. Perform an additional super attack and perform another super attack when cleaning one more rainbow key spheres. Great chance to evade. Okay, so now here's the evasion here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so you go from guarding for three turns, transform. Now you have the great chance of evasion 20% to crit uh, per evasion. Oh, okay. So the more you dodge, the more crit that you do, and then great chance uh, to nullify key-based super attacks when encounter with tremendous power. Okay, this has a counter as well. Okay, um, I think both these units are incredible. Uh, they're gonna be fun. I'm interested in building the teams. Things that you do have an active skill here. 
Uh, basically, it's a it's a finishing move, right? Temporary Masters of Erasure attack for one turn, causes ultimate damage to enemy, and then redirects all attacks. Okay, so here's the the taunt ability, right? Redirects all enemies' attacks to this character for one turn, uh, and just dodges. So if you use this, you have a guaranteed dodge mechanic, and you and you get the full rotation. So unlike like a full um, transformation into like a, a giant or a rage you're still doing everything that you're doing but uh all the attacks change to gogeta and he dodges everyone every one of them thus if there's like 10 attacks or five attacks he has a guaranteed 100 percent to crit wild wild okay okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the super attacks <laughs> I think the Super Saiyan super attacks here, except for that part, that part right there, fire, um, the hands, uh, you know, because we've basically seen the this before here, right, so, uh, that looks incredible, everything looks great, I think when he goes blue though, that's when... So that's the counter, right? That's the counter there. And this is looks incredible. Yeah, the blue animation, Super Saiyan Go Gogeta, right? It, it's pretty mediocre. But then right here, all this. Yeah, give me all this. Is the KO screen? It is. So nice. And this is the active skill, the taunt active skill. So all the attacks move on to him, and then you dodge him, and you get the active skill super attack. Nice. Interesting enough, no KO screen there, but ultimately, um, this unit is this unit is wild. Uh, once he transforms, solid. Uh, I'm thinking here the pre-transformation. Just kind of look into this here again. Don't look at this. This right here is Broly's info. Yeah, so the guard f f uh, for three turns from the first appearance, and then basically at the fourth turn, so transformation. So you should be you should be fine. You go from guard to dodge, and uh, yeah, another, another worthy uh, LR for the nine year anniversary. Can't wait to just do some team building with all this. But uh, anyway, I think that's enough. We're over like twenty four minutes here. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video here. Tell me what you guys think about the units. And uh, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.